Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is A. Marcus again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I want to thank you so very much for stopping on this post. I want to talk to you on the subject matter. Take the right action. Take the right action. You know, I was taking a little nap and for some strange reason, the television program came on with some major religious network. And this guy was saying, you know, thanking the people for stopping for their program, promised them that if they stopped there, they were gonna give everything they had to make them feel better so that when they leave, they could feel appreciative that they came, that they got some. And he asked them, if, Anybody ever, you know, believed in things that they can't see as an expression of faith. And as I heard him say that, I had to get up and turn the TV off. <clears throat> because this reminds me, ladies and gentlemen, that this thing about believing what you can't see and this being a measure of faith, it gives a person who says that they can see an opportunity to state what they say they can see and those who can't see believe in what somebody said they saw. Well, I'm saying to myself, ladies and gentlemen, there truly, as I can testify, a power that you can't see. That's a real fact. But you don't just have to have faith in it. I mean, that power is obvious. It's all about us every day. Everything we see is an expression of that power. All existence is an expression of that power. The things we, we can do is an expression of that power. And that we are here, my friends, <clears throat> as an oppressed people. Oppressed people. It appears that I would say in America for sure that everybody other than the whites, white people, Caucasian people, everyone other than they have been treated as second-class citizens under democracy and Christianity. Under democracy and Christianity, we have all been treated as second-class citizens. And most of us, or many of us, for over 400 years, I know it goes further back, but for some reason we've been focusing on 400 years. I guess something is supposed to happen. Well, if it's going to happen, it's the time for it to happen. It's right now. Right now we know that there is no way that this democracy and this religious system is going to do any more change than Donald Trump is going to change. It's not going to change. So you have to get rid of Trump, get rid of him, get him out of the way, get the system out of the way by exposing, look, it is nothing but hell, pure D hell. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, every last human being on the face of this earth is responsible for the hell of this earth. Every American is responsible for the hell that is America. But all human beings are responsible. As long as there's anybody that suffered. In this world, there's not supposed to be any suffering. We're supposed to live here as though we are in heaven. It is our duty, it is our responsibility to guarantee and assure that to one another by being, each of us, being a vessel whereby the spirit of God's love can live in us. And this would be the outcome. We'd have peace. We'd have prosperity. We'd have joy in our lives. Our dreams would be fulfilled. If we just allowed the spirit of God's love not to listen to people like Trump who would take people and take them all over there or to listen to people who follow uh, Republicans and that would be taking them all over there <clears throat> or Democrats that would take them all over there. And everybody's being taken everywhere for all different reasons. And everywhere they are, the same outcome exists. Pain, poverty, crime and violence of prison, all the stuff they like did. Why? Because it's away from the plan of God's love. These things about the people in power, <clears throat> they claim the power. They want to be treated as we say God is. They say, well, you can't see God living high on the hall. But you can see them. So they want to live on Peel Hill. The religious leaders want to live on Peel Hill. They want everything just the same. And nothing wrong with that. 
The problem is they don't want you to have it. They want you to work for fifteen dollars an hour while they live on Pier Hill, and want you to believe that what they tell you about Scripture about Christianity puts you in a position to stay where you're there unless <clears throat> a miracle occurs. That is, maybe you play sports, or you got a good, something they can exploit and make more money off. See, the truth of it is, ladies and gentlemen, is this. We were made to live on this earth together, each of us having a gift, given a chance to exercise that gift, and making sure that everything that we need is available to us. And we exercise that gifts and all of the things that we need for the uh, survival, everything that we want, everything that we can imagine, it is before us to create. That's what we're here for to create so that all of us can experience the wonderful, great joy of God's power. And it doesn't cost you a penny. You engage yourself and you create food. You create everything that you do now. It just doesn't cost you any money because God doesn't charge you money. There ain't no money in God's plan. That's man's plan to keep you suckered off. Now, I've told you this. So I'm going to say... <clears throat> What I've shared with you is no good. Tomorrow you wake up. Well, see, we do have a system of government. You just can't stop on the dime like that unless you were born again. And now I know you're not born again. I'm just introducing you to being born again. This stuff would have to, you'd have to think about this. You'd have to see it. I don't expect you to that you can't see. you got to see God different. You see... The world can't do it. So see God doing it. Use your imagination. See God doing it. Use your imagination. See God fixing the problem. See God fixing it. And know that in order for it to actually happen, you're going to have to be an instrument of it. But it's okay because you're not going to be the only one. We all are going to be instruments, okay? And we're all going to do our thing. And so we're going to teach the world by resisting this stuff that causes pain. We're going to make sure that everybody got what they need. Everybody got housing. These are our main focus. We're not worried about the protection from powers that be, war, stuff like that. That We got that taken care of. I mean, America's built that way. And we're going to even be better than that. Not to, not to threaten anybody, but to just make sure if anybody go crazy, it won't have an effect on us. On the other hand, we want to make sure that whatever you need, everybody, blacks, whites, and all in between, you got a career, do it. I want to see, God wants to see, we want to see all of you do your thing. And let us all shine and let us rejoice. Forget about this old stuff we've been hating each other about. Forget that. This is a new day, okay? Talk to you later.